Buari in trouble at Ohanese. Director General makes shocking statements. See what he said. The leader of Ohanese, Ndibo, has revealed what he will do to President Mohamed Buari if Namdekanu is not legally represented in court. He said he is interested in the trial of Namdekanu. The Ohanese DG said he would personally declare Biafran independence if Namdekanu is not well treated by the Nigerian government. According to Sun News, Basil Onyechanam Onora said he is monitoring Namdekanu's case and he is interested in the evil plan of the federal government. He said he has a plan and he will execute the plan if Namdekanu does not get a fair trial in court. Basil Onyechanam Onora said Namdekanu is a well-respected person in the East and the people will not be happy if he is wrongly prosecuted by the Nigerian government. However, if Namdekanu does not receive fair treatment in court, Basil Onyechanam Onora said President Mohamed Buhari will get it hot, he stated. He is not the only person that is demanding for justice for Namdekanu. In fact, the whole world, let me put it that way, the whole world are fighting for justice for Namdekanu. It is the whole world. The whole world are, 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 are putting all that they have to see that Namdekanu gets justice. President Mohawari has an Eden plan and everyone is aware of that. Everyone knows that and that is why they are putting it up to him that they know that hidden plan that he is trying to bring up So that is why they are saying it so that in case he want to bring it up So they will quickly know how to attack it Now with what the Ohanese DG have just said I tell you there is fact in it that is fact, but a lot of people, a lot of us don't know that. A lot of us don't know that. A lot of us we keep, you know, fooling ourselves, fooling ourselves. You see that, not knowing that it is the reality that they are trying, that they are, they are telling us. You see that, and the most people that fool themselves the most are our ego leaders. They are the ones that fools themselves the most. They're the ones. You see that? So it is wrong. So I concur with the Ohanese Director General. In fact, he is already speaking in line with those in the in diaspora because it is the same uh, um, condition that the uh, the that the the World Ego Congress. Are also issuing to President Mubari. Same goes to the um, to the British High Commission and also the the law firms in in diaspora. You can imagine, as if they already know who Buhari is and and the kind of personality that he is and also the kind of plans that President Mubari uh, ca can can be able to carry out. So they already know that Buhari have an hidden agenda. So they are putting it up to him in case he is planning to execute it. So they would let him know that, look, mister, we know what you are trying to do. So you better retreat. So I concur with whatever the Ohanese Director General have just, um, have just said because there is nothing as good as what he has just been able to point out. You understand? And, and again, um, to... Uh, Abuba Kamalami, the 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 uh, the AGF Malami, you know, he also have a very bad intention because he knows that he personally has already flopped. He has flopped as as the Minister of Justice. He is the one behind the the extradition of Mazenam the Khan, and now he is. He is now saying that he, he, he never knew that 
it is not in the Nigerian constitution to extradite someone in that manner. That is not an excuse. That's your problem. That's your problem. So you face it. That's not an excuse. You understand? So, with what he has just done, I tell you that uh, Abubakar Malami has every reason to be embarrassed on the day of Mazin Amdekano's trial. And, in fact, he should be made more clear of because he, as a minister of justice, he doesn't even know what the constitution entails. So, how did he pass through law school? How did he pass through law school and then um, crossed over to become a lawyer? How did he got, got to the extent of becoming a son? <laughs> Just like a friend of mine will be telling, we, we, we always tell me that that title son was bought. That's why he told me that, that I should not mind the title that Abubakar Malami has given to himself. And he gave himself the title son and not... The the, the 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 Nigerian law the the the, the, the 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 Nigerian lawyers, and which is true, it is true, because we have a lot of quacks who claim to become to be lawyers, who knows the law, who, who doesn't even know the law. Some of them know the law, but they, because of corruption, they have chosen to 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 dance away, to dance off the law. So that they can be able to, to, to achieve their selfish plan. And that is why I love Femi Falano so much. He has always been standing firm with his words. Do you understand? With his words. He has always been st standing on shaking. Speaking without fear of evil. That is who a lawyer is. Thank God he, he, he never accepted President Momo for his uh, uh, offer. Fari would have been using him like a toy. He would have been using him like a toy. But he has the mouth to speak. To speak and voice out. When he discovers any injustice because he is not in any, uh, in any position with Fari. He never accepted any of his position. He is very okay where he is. What he gets as a lawyer is times ten more than what Barry receives as, as 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 a president. So, <laughs> oh. my dear viewers, let me hear from you anyway. Let me know what you have to say about this issue. If you're new, click on the red subscribe buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.